So in this video, I wanted to show you how to recover the conversation in case the user enters something unexpected, which in Dialogflow ES, you might know it, uh, is called fallback intents. However, in Dialogflow CX, there's no such thing as fallback intents. Instead, we'll be working with a, a concept called event handlers. And event handlers can also, they're a bit wider ranging concept, but for now, we, we will use them exactly as fallback intents, essentially. So let's have a look first at the start page. So every start page and every flow has these two default event handlers, which will, they cannot be removed, first of all, and they will be executed in order. So if there's a match in this one, then this will be executed. If not, it will basically go to the next one, propagate to the next event handler, but only when there's no match in the in the route or the intent that is um, nested in the route of the page. So sounds very theoretical, but uh, I'm just gonna show you here. And if you've played around with Dialogflow EX, you've probably uh, uh, CX, you've come, um, come around to it already. So we're still in the breakfast bot from the earlier video. So I'm gonna enter my name and then, would you like some coffee? I'm just going to be stupid and enter my name again. In this case, there is no match in the current page, uh, the coffee page, which is why the event handler that is um, yeah, listed here in the start page kicks in because there's no other event handler in the coffee page specifically. Uh, it always comes back to the event handlers that are listed here in the start page. And the one that is triggered now is the no match uh, default event, which is basically triggered whenever there's a yeah an input that is not recognized and doesn't match any of the other uh, event handlers or state handlers that are part of the page. Um, yeah, so we can probably find this statement here. Sorry, could you say that again exactly? And the other one would be triggered when there's no input at all. So if I just hit enter, then this one uh, doesn't have a match because there is some input and then the no input default will be um, triggered. So, but this is not a very helpful way yet for the user to get feedback. So what if they entered something wrong and then they're super confused and they don't know what to do next? How can we recover the conversation? So we will, similar as in Dialogflow ES, where we could add a specific fallback intent uh, that would be only triggered in a specific context. Here, we don't have the context, but we have the page, which represents the state in the conversation. And now what we can do is add a, an event handler specifically to this page. So let's do that. First of all, you need to tick this box here so you can see the section. And then we will, again, reuse actually the same uh, system event, so no match, which is triggered when there's no match. But since we added this specifically to the page, it will be only triggered when there's no match when we are in the, in the state of the page. And now I can actually enter a more helpful feedback message, which could be something like, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't understand. Try answering with yes or no. So then we give, we tell the user that they can specifically answer with yes or no, and then, yeah, hopefully they will answer yes or no in the next time, and then we are recovered. So. If I now execute the same thing again, and remember that here last time I was stupid and entered my name, and then we went to the um, events covered here in the start page. Now that I've end, uh, added a specific event handler in, the, in this page, uh, now we know that this is triggered because we have this more specific uh, feedback that I just entered. All right, and um, so as you can see, 
this menu is called state handlers and why is that because uh, every page represents a state in the conversation and then we have these uh, different ways to modify the state so to say so the first one it starts from top to bottom the first one are the routes and the routes have the intents and whenever there's an intent uh, triggered within a route that's added to a page then this route is executed and then the in the route we can give the instruction on how to uh, transition the state what state in the conversation to uh, transfer to next or transition to next which is here the breakfast page so if i if i add a yes then uh yeah this route is recognized but then when there's no match and there's a, a no match event handler added here then this is triggered and then there's a, another type of state handler route groups which i will cover in the next video probably and yeah so these are different ways to transition out of the state of a page uh, now i'm in the next page breakfast and again we can see that it falls back to the uh, event handler in the start page so if I wanted to, and I think it does make sense, I will actually add a similar event handler for the breakfast to again give the same hint that if they no, if they don't enter yes or no, then we will uh, no match default. Then we will again prompt them, try answering with yes or no. And one more thing that I could do here is, which I think is not a bad idea, is to transition again to the same page I mean, we won't transition out of the page uh, when whenever the event handler kicks in, but the effect that this has is that we will again trigger the entry fulfillment, which gives again a reminder where we're at. Uh, so I'm going to do the same here and then I'm going to show you what it does. So let's start again. Would you like some coffee? So now it says the same uh, feedback message that's coming from the event handler, but additionally, it's prompting again the entry fulfillment. So now I know what basically I did wrong and how I can respond next time, but also I'm reminded of where I'm at in the conversation and what the question is. And I can do the same uh, here. And then also the question is repeated. So I hope that made sense. And if you have any questions, please uh, let me know in the comments.